Have you ever received a credit card statement and just had no idea how they work out your interest? Or are you interested in figuring out how does the APR that you get quoted actually come through to calculating the interest that you're gonna to have to pay on your credit card? If so, I'm gonna explain exactly how the whole thing works in this video. Make sure you keep listening because the way the interest is calculated is a little bit complicated and actually differs whether you live in the US or the UK. Uh, so to get the right uh, calculation, make sure you keep on listening. So to start off with, let's talk about balance buckets. Now, balance buckets are the different categories of balance that you have on your credit card, and each category of balance has to calculate the interest on that particular type of balance separately. So uh, what I mean by balance buckets are things like purchases, balance transfers, money transfers, and cash. Not all credit cards have all four. Some of them don't do uh, money transfers. Almost every single one will do all the other three. Um, but generally speaking, you're gonna have those four categories and each one will have its own interest rates. Some newer credit cards will have the same interest rate on uh, all of them or uh, more than one of them. Um, but typically speaking, purchase will have the lowest interest rate. Then you'll have balance transfers, then money transfers and cash and sometimes money transfers and cash are the same, sometimes cash is even higher. Cash is when you withdraw money from an ATM. Now, um, when you try and figure out the interest that you owe in each individual bucket, um, you have to use the concept of the average daily balance. And this concept is the same uh, whether you're working this out in the US or the UK. The way that you work this out is you have to follow a formula to determine on a daily basis what the balance at the end of that day on your credit card was. So you take the starting balance at the beginning of the day, you take all the spend that happened on that particular balance category during that day, you take any payments into the balance category during the day, and the ending result is the balance on that day. <coughs> you then figure out what the ending balance for each of these categories is every single day of the month. And let's say there are 30 days, you then top them all up, you add them up, and then you divide by 30, that's your average daily balance. Now, <clears throat> the way the interest is calculated is where the big, big difference is between the US and the UK. Now, in the UK, the way the interest is calculated is on a compound basis. And the way this works is, is this. Um, if you're quoted a 18.9% APR or interest rate on your purchases, um, the way to work out what the monthly equivalent is, is not to divide it by 12. What you have to do is you take your interest rate, you add one to it, so in case of 18.9%, the uh, numeric version of that is 0.189. You add one, you get 1.189, and then you take that to the 1 12th power. <clears throat> now, if you're not quite sure how to do it on a calculator, you usually have a little um, upward arrow to the power off symbol, and then you just do brackets one over 12. Uh, on a computer, it's the same. It is shift six on a UK keyboard. <coughs> so uh, when you do that, you then take away one, uh, and then the result is the monthly percentage rate. In the US, you work out the monthly interest rate slightly different. You take the APR, you divide it by 365 to get the daily interest rate because all APRs and all percentages in the US work on a non-compound basis. You then multiply it by the number of days in the month. So if it's 30, you'll just go and multiply it by 30. Now, once you've figured out this interest uh, on a monthly basis and you've done your calculations for the daily balances, it's relatively straightforward. You just go and multiply them together add up the total interest, that's how much you owe <coughs> in interest charges that month. Let's do a really, really simple example. Um, so let's say you have three balance types. You have purchases, you have balance transfer balance, and you have some cash. Now, before I go any further, you really shouldn't have a credit card which has all three of those types of balances because you're almost guaranteed to be paying interest. You're definitely gonna be paying way too much interest. You really shouldn't do it. Let's put that aside, let's presume you just happen to have a credit card that has those three balances for the sake of doing the calculation. Now, let's say your purchase interest rate is 18.9%, and let's say your balance transfers are on a promotional 0% deal, so you don't have to pay interest on it to, to show you what happens. Um, let's then assume that the cash balance is on a 29.9% interest rate, um, all these annualized. 
Now, if you were in the UK, <coughs> you would then figure out the monthly interest rates by doing the one plus 18.9% or one plus 29.9%, take it to the power of 12, uh, 1 12th. And the answer in the UK is 1.45% for purchases and 2.2% for cash. In the US, the slightly differently divide by 365 times 30 and you get 1.55% for purchases and you get 2.46% for the cash. Now to work out the average balance, let's add some complexity to figure out this daily element. Let's say you, after 10 days, you go and spend an extra 60 pounds in a shop and your balance goes up from 100 to 160 on purchases. That means your average daily balance is gonna be 10 days at 100 and 20 days at 160. Um, so if you work that out, you'll then have an average daily balance of 140 pounds. That's what you're gonna be using. Or $140 in the US. Um, <clears throat> if you have a cash balance of 200, and let's say after 20 days, you made a payment into the credit card. The way payments are allocated um, in the UK, specifically in the US, is, uh, it can vary slightly, but is you have to repay the highest interest balance bucket first. So in our case, that's cash. Let's say you've paid 30 pounds into your account. Therefore, the cash started at 200. After 20 days, it went down to 170. So that means the average daily balance for cash would be 190. So now you've done all of those sums. The net calculation at the end is really, really simple. You take your average daily balance for uh, retail purchases, that's 140 multiplied by the 1.45%. Your total interest owed is two pounds and three pence. You take your same balance for the cash, 190, you multiplied by the 2.20% uh, monthly cash interest rate, you get four pounds and 19 pence. You add them up and the total is six pounds 22. That's how much you owe. If the same calculation was done in the US, and we assume the same amount in dollars, we'd be talking $140 times 1.55%, which is $2.17, and $190 times 2.46%, uh, which is $4.67. So the total interest you'll be paying in the US will be $6.84. I hope that makes it really simple. Obviously, the more transactions you have in the month, the more complicated this calculation is gonna be. Just remember the three things. One is you have to work out each type of balance individually. Number two, you have to make sure that you work out the average daily balance on each bucket correctly. And then from these daily amounts, work out what the average through the month was. Then number three, you're going to figure out what your effective monthly uh, interest rate is, which is different in the UK to the US. You then multiply them together and add them up. I hope you find that useful. If you have, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the like button and smash that bell so that you get notifications every time I release a new video. New videos are coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so if you like this kind of content, if you find it interesting, please leave a comment. I will make sure I answer any questions you might have. If you're not quite sure if uh, of how I made some of these calculations, do ask a question, I will get back to you, and I will see you in the next video.